Hello YouTube and welcome to Ground Forks Plays Transport Fever. We are starting a new save and uh, just uh, in the last episode because we went bankrupt or not bankrupt but we were in a stalemate we couldn't get anywhere and I think it's a combination of medium difficulty and uh, time progression two times slower but uh, and also the fact that I took a big ass loan uh, which I couldn't get out of for the life of me. So I'm still gonna play with it two times slower and I'm still gonna play on uh, medium difficulty but it's, since I wasn't really a big fan of uh, the boss wash cor corridor anyway uh, we're gonna go play on a different map and uh, as I was thinking of going back to my original save I've gotten a suggestion from Vitaly Moros user uh, to check out his map and turns out his map is actually quite nice so let me just show it to you this is the real USA map as you can see, we have all the major cities. It's a full USA map. We have mountains, we have navigable waters, which is kind of important if you can take a look. So we can use shipping lines, we can actually navigate the Great Lakes, which I think is great. So I think overall it will be a very, very interesting map to play with. I have no idea how it will play into my profits and stuff uh, because, yeah, I have no idea. However, let us start the play and I'm thinking that I want to be starting somewhere where I have cities close by. So I'm thinking Boston, New York, Washington and then take it from there. Now, uh, New York and Boston. Well, Boston would be the end of the line and I'm hoping to set up a rail line going somewhere here. The problem with the New York is that it's so much spread out that I have nowhere to build. So that is kind of a tricky proposition and I don't have a lot of cash and I definitely, definitely am not gonna go into debt more because we are all already two million in the debt, as you can see. So I want to return that sooner rather than later. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set up shop here in Boston. Actually, let's see the area. Right. So we have here and what I plan to be putting is I want to still put my station smack into the middle of the city, but I want to make the least damage that I can and taking down three buildings is definitely not one of it. However, taking down one building definitely is and it's gonna be a thing. Now, if we set up train station, I want to be able to place it here. We have, can we have a 240 meter? That might be a little bit too advanced to ask. What would be the coverage on it? Decent. Hmm. How about... If I create another small street going from here, rather. I know, I know, I just said that I want to keep it, you know, simple, not two buildings. Can you not destroy two buildings? I would very much like to actually build from here. 76,000. Can we at least have it then as a medium street? Nope. If we want that, that's 128k. You know what? We'll do it. And then we might as well stretch it a little bit further out. Something like this. Yes. Yeah, not the smartest move on my part, but I want to be putting a terminal station. 240 to tracker with a second street connection. Something along these lines, but I want to be careful in terms of how I set it up. So, what's the catchment area on that one? Yeah, so let's set up shop somewhere close. And I'm thinking this is gonna do pretty nicely to start with. So we're gonna start from there, yes. Then I want to be taking a small bus stop which I'm thinking of putting adjacent to it. Yeah, see this nice curvy things, but I want this road to continue. Okay, this road clearly doesn't have a future. 
It was my mistake to build it. I'm sorry. Continue your builds here. Um, now, I want to continue with this medium street onwards. Help it expand and branch a little bit. So something like that with a smaller street connecting the two perhaps. No, I don't want the building removed, so please don't do it. No, this is a small, medium street, yes. Thank you. I don't know why the AI chooses to hate me like that, but I don't know. We connect this here, and then what we will be doing is a bus stop or bus station. Let me just... I don't like them angled too much. Can I put it on the opposite side? Because that would be like a winner, I think. Oh, yes, we can. Look at that. So people just need to cross the road to get to the station. Hmm. That's not bad at all. But it would be even better if we, they don't need to cross the road. See? Yeah, that would be a thing. Hold on. Let me just angle it to perfection. And then if we need to expand, we can always expand later on. So, good. Then, in terms of track, you, I'm playing also with the mod track ballast, because then it uh, means that we can add ballast some. Then, let's connect the road. This one directly here. I think it would be a great idea. So, track ballast, yes. Do we want to be putting some ballast here? Terrain alignment, yeah, of course it's a terrain alignment, al alignment collision. What did you th expect? Right, that's Boston. I don't want to be spending too much money anyway. Huh, says he and spends an exuberant amount of money. Yeah, sure. So, something like that. And I'm planning to put the station here ish kind of because I would be taking the passengers from Boston hold on and maybe curvature I should put a little less aggressive something like that perhaps yeah something along these lines and hopefully then we should be able to develop some industry in the region. I was really hoping to build it here and it would be a perfect place to put it, but I mean the cost would be just too much, so I cannot sadly afford to do it. So I'm gonna connect a small road, not a medium road, small or in fact medium. How much would it cost me to connect two buildings and a terrain alignment, alignment collision? So, 101. Yes, that would be better. Terrain alignment collision. Forget about it. Two buildings. No. Can we do it with one building being removed only, please? One building. 152k. Better. So, what I want to be doing, I want to take a medium street now across this here to the point where I can actually build a station connect some road hopefully right maybe connect these streets here because this looks feasible right this looks doable right and it looks hideous as well but i don't care at this point what is important for me that i am able to plonk a station here and that's only thing i care about the guys at the moment oh boy this will be really interesting to expand this station further on so if i put the 160 yeah, that wouldn't be a problem whatsoever. So can I actually shorten this section a little bit? Then make a street 
small street that goes like this. Yes, I can. Continues you along, along the this riverside property. Wonderful. And then Plonka station immediately on it. Hold on, not the bulldozer, but we set the station and 240, please. It's a long train station, that's for sure. I have no idea how the city would be able to develop, but what's the catchment area? You see, it's pretty darn good. And that's what I'm going for. Yeah, I think I can con get the roads from another side anyway. Yeah, I think I we're going to go with that one. Okay. So, I need to plonk somewhere a station. And can I do it here? Ish. Narrow angle. Here? No. Yeah. It's not exactly aces, you know. I think we're having scale issues. Okay. But let's see if we can if we remove this section, can we now plop a bus stop? Because that's all we care about in the end. Construction not possible. Yeah, it's possible. And it even looks cool. Nice. So we're going to put it right there. And now we have to pray to the gods of terrain alignment collisions that we are able to actually, you know, put the tracks over. How much is more expensive? These are way more expensive. They are future proof though. But I think at some point later on we would have more cash anyway. So I think I'm gonna go with this one. And here I do want to double track it. And then all we need to do is just continue. We are down to one million. If we really wanted to do it Western style, we should have a single track, but I'm going to be putting like this and then I'm going to take the rest as a single tracker. It's not exactly the world's biggest track, so come on. Construction not possible. It very much is possible. Please don't do this to me. And now, yeah, see, something like that. Second track, you start from on here. Because I obviously want to book place for later construction and we put you like here. Because this entirely makes sense, right? Maybe it doesn't, but it does to me. So, let's see, if we're leaving from here, can we do like this? Yeah, so he would, here would be essentially a passing track. Can we do a reverse? I never doubted it. If I start from here, oh, we can, wow. Look at that. That's some advanced junctioning right there. Right. We don't want to dilly dally too long. Now, somewhere along this path, we would like to have a train depot. So, 
I'm thinking too of placing it actually in the continuation of this track. So rail depot. To keep it somewhere here, kind of ish. So that later we can expand, but still we want to be able to connect to the track. Yes. And it doesn't need to be speedy, mind you. So, yes, it comes here and then it goes. Okay, good. Right? So now what we want to be doing is we want to have set up our first train, you know? <laughs> I know, it, it's, it's about time. So our first train or first line should be starting at, since we are starting here, we might want to as well starting here. Line one, innovative name, couldn't agree more. So Boston, New York, and we will call it Boss New York City. I think it's smarter that we call Boston New York and vice versa because uh, Boston is the end station, so we will be expanding. Yeah, right. <clears throat> Boston. New York. There we go. It's a thing. Now, what I want to be doing is I want to be building a train, right? So, by trains, we'll take the Baldwin six wheeler and then we're gonna take one, two, two cars only. Oh boy. Not what I would have wanted. What's the running cost of you? 28 and you are 45. So, okay, you know what? We'll keep it small for the time being. Set the line, Boston to New York City. We don't need high costs anyway, right? And before we set everything in motion, we have to think about our commuters and the commuters being we need road depots in both cities because I mean really I don't think setting up shop anywhere far out would be kind of a good idea so let's put one right there perhaps right and we want to build some stops passenger stops so you're catching this guy an addition I think that an additional street going from here out two buildings will be removed what if I take a small one ah, one building will be removed see much better already right so we were talking about And I've put this guy here like an idiot. Hmm. No. Confirm destruction. Yes, because I don't know what to build. So we take you. We take you here. And then we connect you up there. And it's 80k, which I don't have. Obviously, borrow. That should be the only loan that I take because otherwise I'm gonna go the same route as I did before. So, where's my road depot? Here it is. Stations. Passenger stop. We can put one here. We can put one right there 
I was thinking putting one right there, followed by an optimism one, kind of here-ish, here-ish. And I have no good reason why the hell would I want it to not upgrade, but the road, why did the hell did I want to have a small road here? Right, so second line. We define a new line, which is here, 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 and here. So you figured it out. Much obliged. Ultimately, these people which are living here would need to walk a lot, but that's their problem. Right, so this is the boss commuter. And to start with, I'm gonna buy road vehicles are pretty cheap and they cost next to nothing to run. So having like three, I think would be a good starting point. And then we need to fix the New York City commuters because this track will actually very much depend on them. So where are the most lucrative um, hunting spots, so to say? First, your coverage is this area, right? So that means if I plump a station here, yes, then you come here and then you continue on along this line here. You would be taking a lot of people here and the last one in the industrial zone here right road depot so now we need to define the last route which is the red with let's give it this blazing red and we're gonna be call us New York City commuter and you will obviously be starting at the New York Exchange this street a little bit of this a little bit of that a little bit of that and we are in the money so to say so right New York City commuter and we will be buying let's say one two three four road vehicles to start with so and you're going to New York City commuter nice I think we're ready to set our goals here and actually start running oh and we have our Baldwin ready and eager to start so let's kick on the gas Sorry, it was a little bit heavy on the setup, but I wanted to get the most bang for my buck here to start with. And while we are watching our Baldwin boldly go where no train has gone before, uh, we can also observe our cart carriages going outside. Well, horse and cart. So, I think this would make for a compelling shot now wouldn't it probably wooden bridge hell yeah oh there you go look at that beautiful okay as we'll go through this we can talk a little bit about Baldwin Locomotive Works I always like to give a little bit of history here and there so, Baldwin Locomotive Works was an American builder of railroad locomotives. It was originally located in Philadelphia, later moved to Eddystone, Pennsylvania. Although the company was very successful at and the largest producer of steam locomotives, its uh, transition to the production of diesels was far less so. Later, when the early demand for diesel locomotives to replace steam tapered off, Baldwin could not compete in the marketplace. It stopped producing locomotives in 1956 and went out of business in 1972. Having produced over 70,000 locomotives, vast majority powered by steam. 
The company is not to be confused with E.M. Baldwin of Australia, who made small locomotives for such things as sugarcane railways. Okay, and I think that gives us a little bit of history. I don't think we need to dwell too much into it. But we won't, might want to enjoy this beautiful crossing. Yeah, you know, I was really eager to get the trains to the heart of the New York City. So we could have a proper New York Central, but I really couldn't feel it, you know. This is beautiful. And I think it goes perfectly with this nice, casual, le leisure music. I did a little bit, admittedly, a little double tracking here because I wanted to make sure that we would be able to, you know, use the train station later on because if we don't, otherwise it would be just useless later on. And I'm hoping that the area around train station would, you know, develop. Right. So, we have three of our buses here, or buses, horse and cart carriages. And I think this one might be a compelling sight to follow. I'm not expecting a whole lot of passengers yet, because I've built everything in, you know, as pause, and they need to figure out that we are starting to provide this wonderful passenger service, which they never knew about, and they didn't even know that they wanted, so... Yeah, it's gonna be a hard sell for starters, but... Yeah. Dude, there's no one there. You don't need to stand here. There we go. Nice and horse and cart, by the way. And inevitable turkeys are here. There we go, beautiful view. We, we might as well early on in the game follow our horse and cart and see how do they explore different areas of the map. Black rock vegetables, I'm pretty sure having them near to the train station is gonna help with the taste. It's gonna be coal-y. <clears throat> right. You can already feel a little bit, you know, taste of industrial progress here in Boston. Oh, no, sorry, this is New York City. Yeah, and um, yeah, looks kind of nice. Oh, look, this guy has chairs to chill out. Right. So, I'm going to kick in the turbos a little bit because obviously we need to start making cash and we for that we need the passengers to start showing up and uh, <clears throat> so that's kind of my reasoning how I would like them to develop. I'm assuming that this island here would be Manhattan which means our New York Central would be taking essentially everybody here. But we'll see. I don't see that many people walking around. Or, ah, something's being constructed. Some people are coming. Yes, yes. They figure out we're providing good service. Nice. Sweet. <clears throat> Soon we will be starting to make a little bit of cash. This time on I was much more careful not to go into uh, too big of a loan because I want to be repaying loan sooner rather than later. And our first initial thing what we will be doing is we will be adding the some passenger or passenger cars once we actually 
manage to drive the demand to the point where we will actually use it. So, I expect this docks area to be very popular. Oh, and look, houses are showing up. You don't say. Do we want even to help the AI a little bit by building more of the road here? Like this, maybe, huh? Waterfront property. And while we are building, we might want to make sure that they never extend out here. By the way, this is just ballast. No real tracks here. But we could... make another road here and we could make it even a medium road so maybe the AI figures out okay well this road takes half of the freaking island maybe it's important maybe I should build there you never know I'm thinking if I just construct a bridge here. Just some wooden thingy. <clears throat> Maybe the I would figure it out. Oh, and this, they're starting to plant trees. That's nice. Okay, we are making some cash. How's our profit? Deep in the red. But the tracks, yeah. The frequency is good on all lines, but we are not making profit because we don't have any passengers yet. But that's completely understandable and to be expected. Signaling wise, I might want to signal up this. We want vehicles to be driving on the right. So. We put something like this, which should hopefully tell the traffic, yeah, that we want him to split the lines. Sure. It makes more sense, actually. Hmm, <clears throat> all right. It seems that our traffic is picking up. So, hold on. New York City commuter, see? 11 people. Hold on, do we need already to increase the capacity? Maybe. So, by road vehicles, two horse and carriages, and New York City commuter. <clears throat> we want to double up on those. While we are on there on the subject, let's take a look at our train and let's take a look from the train perspective. We are heading for New York City. <clears throat> Just to see how it looks. I realize it might be a little bit empty, but why the hell not? We are doing 33 kilometers an hour, which is not at all bad. And we can already see the beautiful panorama of the industrialized New York City. Some birdies coming along. This crossing I really don't get for at least for the Western style. I think it wasn't like that. Maybe it was. I don't know. There's our depot. The 
There we go, going for the right track. Slowly entering the city. I am don't, not sure that this diamond crossing is actually, you know, historically accurate, but I'll just have to suck it up and live, live with it. Right? Quite a lot of passengers here, if I may say so myself. Does that mean that we will need be needing to up the capacity? Which in that case would be just awesome. How many? 14 out of 28. Almost half of the train is full. Beautiful. Okay, let's kick in the turbos again. While I'm doing that, I might be contemplating my next move. Like I said, I don't want to be too aggressive and I don't want to build too aggressively. But here we have Washington. And I'm just thinking out loud, assuming <clears throat> that I would be able to... Okay, we are still losing money, but we are starting to actually earn money on the New York City commuter, see? We need a little bit more passengers for the route to start paying off. But I'm kind of thinking, assuming that we want at least a stop here. Maybe that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Hold on. No, nothing that fancy. I'm just thinking like... One stop capturing Washington. Capturing this Washington and another one capturing this Washington. And then people would be going basically back to Boss or back to the New York. So I'm gonna experiment with that line, which would be basically going from here all the way up here and then here on the way back. I don't even know if I want to have the Hillcrest Street. Maybe I do. But anyway, that would be... New York City to Washington cart line. I'm gonna keep it with the cart because yeah, we're gonna have horse and cart carriages, so we want to be know that we want to replace it sooner rather than later. So this one will be orange. And let's build like by road vehicles, horse carriage, one, two, three. We have money only for three. So set the line. Yeah, you guys will be doing the long haul. And that's nine minute frequency. Oh, it's not too bad, I, I would argue. What I'm hoping is that it will increase demand to a little extent. And we are allowed to have two terminals here. So how much how many passengers do we have actually? 24, almost a full train. How much do we have at Boston? 6. Well, Boston still needs to pick up, obviously, but I'm really interested how much is it full train now? 28, yes. In that case, let's follow it because I'm really interested in terms of how much money will the full train net us. We can just decrease so that we are not running at the ludicrous speed.
There we go, give me the hero shot that I want and love. 23,000. Good, good. And we have 24 back, so it's almost full load. That's wonderful. So I think our lines are starting to be profitable soon-ish. Yes. Okay, see, look, Boston, New York City, 51K. Boston Commuter is generating a little bit of loss for us, but I guess that's okay. And the Washington card, I mean, we've only just started, so we wouldn't even know. <clears throat> so I would say, so far, it seems like a pretty promising start. Let's put on the slight turbos, shall we? What I'm hoping that this would provide us, drive demand, get us some cash, and that hopefully we will be able to, you know, pick up from there and build, increase, whatnot. See, the cities are developing, so that's a good thing. And they're already starting buildings here on this road. Beautiful. Right. So we are already at March and we are on the verge of breaking even. That's actually fantastic. The trick here is to keep our running costs low and not, you know, I always over engineer things. I always go willy nilly. I always put too many people, you know, more than I should, uh, more capacity than I should, and then it ends up eating me. So, with this beautiful view, I, I guess I'll be bidding you farewell. Like if you like the episode, hit subscribe for more Transport Fever content, and I guess I will be seeing you all guys in the next episode, but until then, Thank you very much for watching. This is Groundworks signing off from New York Central. <laughs>